Welcome to this video about draft survey. Well, draft survey is used to calculate cargo loaded or discharge. If it is conducted in a right way, the accuracy can be within 0.5% of the cargo. Well, a draft survey involves careful reading of drafts, taking into account all the prevailing circumstances. Now let us first understand about hydrostatic draft. Well, draft at the center of flotation is called hydrostatic draft. The center of flotation is the point about which the ship trims. So here this is the vessel and this is the point here about which the vessel trims. So we can say the vessel trims like this at some point. So the hydrostatic draft is the draft at center of flotation and this is very very important because all the hydrostatic particulars like displacement, TPC that is turns per centimeter, MCTC that is movement to change the trim by one centimeter, LCB longitudinal center of buoyancy, LCF longitudinal center of uh, flotation, KB that is center of buoyancy from keel and that is meta center, transverse meta center and this one a longitudinal matter center. So all the hydrostatic particulars in a ship stability booklet are tabulated against the hydrostatic draft and that is the draft at a center of flotation. And center of flotation is the point where the ship trims. So if the vessel is at even keel, trim is zero and the draft is the hydrostatic draft. So in case of even keel, it is pretty easy to find the initial hydrostatic draft. And from the table, we can also find the initial displacement. If we look at this table, here suppose draft is 3 meter, we can find the displacement as 5478 ton. Similarly, if I have the initial hydrostatic draft, so I can easily find the initial displacement. Now if I have some cargo and I load the cargo like this, the ship goes like this. So I have final hydrostatic draft. And similarly, I can find the final uh, displacement. All I know now that if I have the initial displacement and I add something, which is the cargo I have loaded, or subtract if any I have consumption or I add something like if I loaded some ballast also or loaded some bunkers also I have the final displacement and this equation is very very useful I can easily find the quantity of cargo loaded with this equation and that is the basic principle of draft survey. So our objective is to find the hydrostatic draft. Well, we need to read the draft from all six positions. That means on the forward port side and starboard side, midship port side and starboard side, and aft also port side and starboard side. The drafts are read to the nearest a centimeter that is that can be seen. So these drafts are corrected to the center line. So if I have the port side draft and starboard side draft, so I need to take the mean of that. Similarly, if I have the port side draft of midship and starboard side uh, draft of the midship, so I need to take the mean of that. And similarly to the aft draft also. Basically, we need to correct the observed draft to the center line. However, we have one more challenge that draft marks are not exactly located at forward perpendicular, aft perpendicular or amidship. Due to the shape of the vessel, they are slightly displaced sideways. So for example, here is the forward perpendicular. Well, forward perpendicular is a reference line. And 
the draft mark here they are they are sideways uh, displaced similarly the aft perpendicular is also a reference line the draft marks may not be located aft perpendicular but slightly uh, displaced laterally and the midship marks are also not exactly at midship so we need to apply corrections accordingly so the first correction is called stem correction which needs to be applied to forward draft so forward draft must be read precisely at a forward perpendicular 